Now the first step is to try launching the game from NVIDIA app. So you can launch NVIDIA app and then you can go to graphics over here. Select the game over here. No, first of all, go to home and here you can see FC uh, 26. You can click on play. Try to launch the game from here. If that does not work, you can go to graphics and then select EA Sports FC 26. And over here, if you see optimize option, hit optimize. And once the optimization is done, now you can try to launch the game from NVIDIA app and then check. Now, if it is already optimized in your case, in that case, you can revert the optimization, close NVIDIA app. Make sure it's closed. And then you can check. If that does not work, you can disable smooth motion. Uh, you can open NVIDIA app once again and then go to graphics, select EA Sports FC 26. And over here, if you see smooth motion over here, if this is on, turn it off. In my case, it is already off. Go to global settings. And if smooth motion is uh, like on, you can turn it off. And if it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. If that does not work, then you can close, you can close the NVIDIA app and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to try launching the game a couple of times. So sometimes it works just try to launch the game multiple times and then check. You can even restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, download this x86 and x64 version. In, down, download both the files. So click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. And download this x64 file as well. Run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And then let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, restart your computer and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try launching the game from EA app. So if you have the game on uh, Steam, you can open EA app and then try to launch the game from EA app and then check. Next step is to re uh, rename FC setup or settings folder. Now for this, you can go to File Explorer, go to this PC. When you do so, all the saved settings will be lost when you rename this these folder. Now open C drive, users folder, your username folder, open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a on hidden items and then open app data folder, local folder. And over here, uh, you will find FC26. You can make a right click. Uh, in my case, I already have this. Uh, let me this one. You don't, you don't delete it and this is, so in your case, you will see FC 26 like this. Uh, open EA Sports FC 26, open this folder and then here you can see FC setup. You can make a right click and then you can rename it. You can, re in my case, it is already renamed. Rename it and then here you can see settings folder, make a right click and then click on rename. You can rename it. It is already renamed. Also rename this FC setup. Make a right click and rename this. Once you rename it, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can delete the uh, save game files. Like you can go back, create a backup first uh, because when you rename this, you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup of this F e Sports FC 26. Once you have a backup, you, I already have a backup over here. Once you have a backup over here, now you can make a right click and you can rename this and now you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate from 240 to 120 or 60 hertz uh, this is just an example if your monitor has a refresh rate of 240 hertz you can try 120 hertz or 60 hertz you can even go to windows settings and then go to system and then go to display go to advanced display option advanced display and you can set it to 60 hertz and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to uninstall codec pack uh, if you have any kind of codec pack uninstall it restart your computer and then launch the game if you have obs running close obs razor tartarus disconnect key cron keyboard launch the game and then check 
try power saver mode you can just type in control panel in windows search box click on control panel and then go to uh, hardware and sound and then go to power options over here and in my case i don't have power saver but if you see power saver like this select power saver launch the game you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then launch the game next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can open windows settings go to or you can simply type in graphics settings over here and then click on graphic settings and click on advanced graphic settings if this is off turn it on launch the game and then check if this is already on you can turn it off and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable daemon tools close daemon tools so if you have this tool running you can close it if it's hidden over here make a right click exit click on yes make a right click in the start menu go to task manager if you find this daemon tool running over here uh, you can make a right click and then click on end task you can open device manager make a right click go to device manager if you have this daemon tool over here running you can make a right click and then go disable device in my case it is already disabled so disable this again if you find this end task now you can check you can even uninstall it you can later on reinstall in future if you want to use it if you have this rewsd running ds4 windows auto hotkey razer razer software corsair icue face it anti cheat riot vanguard uh, logitech if you have these application running uh, make sure that you close it uh, in the task manager so you can and if you find it in the task manager just make a right click and then you can click on end task so it's keep keep on coming so i have to uninstall this make a right click and task any any of these application running and also disable in, in the device manager so if you find it uh, any application in the device manager any entry for these application disable it if you have xbdd scsi mini port in device manager uh, you can just make a right click and then you can click on and uh, disable it uh, if you have this corsair bus in device manager disable it you can even uninstall these application close all the third party application uh, vlc codec wallpaper engine msi apps any kind of third party application running and the service in the task manager and then also you, if you find the entry in device manager make a right click disable it perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in windows search box click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide or microsoft services make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all and then hit apply click on okay you will see a restart option restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to disable these devices so if you have zap or uninstall these devices so if you have zap red crypto pro punk buster uh, uninstall it remove it from your computer if you have goodbye application running close it if you have drop top rain meter uh, any uh, third party mouse and keyboard application like icue uh, software if you have 3x support uh, software support app close it if you have game companion running close it if you have a product from scan if you find menu.exe in device uh, in task manager make a right click and close it uh, if you have vibe port or vibes vr software running sometimes it's hidden over here so make, you have to make a right click and then you can exit and then launch the game unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected to the computer disconnected uh, you can turn off the vpn disable overlay if you have the game on steam make a right click on the game i don't have the game on steam i'll show you a different game make a right click go to properties go to general tab if enable steam overlay is on turn it off if it is already off turn it on and then check check which one is working fine for you uh, if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running on your computer uh, close nvidia app do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reva tuner if you have undervolted you can remove the undervolt and then launch the game next step is to repair update uninstall and reinstall e anti cheat now for this you can go to ea website the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see ea javelin anti cheat installer click on it and then you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file uh, click on yes to allow and this will launch now 
find FC26 in the list. Click on repair, go to the game installation folder, click on OK and then select the complete EA Sports FC26 folder, select folder and let the update complete. Once you see install success over here, uh, now you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, click on uh, select FC26, click on update. And during the update, your uh, the EA anti cheat setup may restart once you see update success. Now you can check. If that does not work, select FC26, click on uninstall. And once the uninstall is success, now click on install. And once the install is success, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then you can uninstall, select FC26, click on uninstall. And once uninstall is done, close this. Do not uh, launch, do not install it. Instead, you can go to EA app or Steam or and then you can relaunch the game. When you relaunch the game, it will, during the launch, it will restart EA anti cheat. So here you can see, click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now you can check. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can go to the game, make a right click in the game, manage browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. If you have the game on EA app, in that case, you can uh, click on manage and then click on view properties, click on open folder and then make a double click, launch the game from here. If that does not work, make a right click and then click on run as administrator. You can even try uh, launching the game using this run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So I have the, I'm using Windows security. I don't have any antivirus program. So click on privacy and security, Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Scroll down, click on manage ransomware protection, click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow add an allowed app browser apps and then go to the game installation folder and then select all the exe file ea anti cheat game service launcher browse and then select fc26 open click on browser apps select this one open even the trial one and then add an allowed app browser apps and then go to installer ea anti cheat select this installer click on open and then now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to net system and security Windows Defender Firewall click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall click on change settings click on allow another app click on browse and again go to the game installation folder select all the exe file all the four uh, four exe files select all the exe file and then you have to uh, go to installer folder and then you have to select this one also e anti cheat select this one add everything in my case it is already added once added now launch the game let me close the game for now now similarly if you have any third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you are using add all the 5 exe file to your antivirus program now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option if you have the game on steam i don't have the game on steam i'll show you a different game make a right click go to properties type in dx11 launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 over here launch the game and then check still not working remove this and ea app users can go to ea app click on manage and then view properties and then over here type in dash dx11 Click on save, launch the game and then check if that does not work. Type in dash DX12, save it, launch the game and then check. Still not working, remove it, save it, follow the next step. Now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. Select your graphic card, your operating system, click on find. And on this page, you will see the latest graphic card driver. So scroll down and you have to install this GeForce Game Read driver. Click on view and then click on download. Once the download is complete, run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Click on OK. Click on agree and continue. Set a custom option over here. Click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next. After the clean installation, make sure that you restart the computer and then launch the game. Still not working. The next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder select fc26 folder add once the game is added click on the game 
select high performance you will see your graphic card now launch the game next uh, desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi and dp cable to the dedicated graphic card slot next step is to run ea app updater now for this type in ea app make a right click on ea app and then click on open file location here you can see ea app updater make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and let the update complete this may take some time and if not updated you, it will update it and then it will close automatically in my case it's already updated if that does not work run e app updater also run as administrator click on yes to allow and again if it is not up to date uh, you will see update option uh, let, let it update and then check still not working then run app recovery make a right click on app recovery click on run as administrator click on yes to allow so click on clear cache over here now you can uh, this will relaunch ea app and then you can check next step is to install directx now for this open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website click on download and then run this exe file click on yes to allow and then click on i accept and then click on next Un uncheck install bing bar click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete you you will see finish option hit finish and then restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to run ea app or steam as an administrator so if you have the game on steam go to steam click on exit and then type in steam over here and then make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then check if you have the game on ea app you can close ea app and once you close ea app type in ea app in windows search box make a right click on ea app and then click on run as administrator if that does not work verify the game files make a right click on the game this is just an example make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then from verify integrative game files once the verification is done launch the game if you have the game on ea app then select the game in the list uh, select fc26 where is the game so select fc26 then click on manage click on repair and once the repair is done now you can check Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to create a new local admin account. Now for this, you can open Windows settings. Go to Accounts and then you can go to Other Users over here and then click on Add Account and then on this screen uh, click on i don't have this person's sign in information click on it and then click on add a user without a microsoft account add a user without a microsoft account over here now you can name it whatever you want this is just an example and if you want a password you can enter the password or you, if you don't want leave it blank and once it is created now click on the new account and then click on change account type you can set this as an administrator click on ok and then restart your computer or just log out log you log the computer and then log in to this new account once you log in reinstall the game and then launch the game next step is to the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working uh, you can uninstall the game after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the crashing issue so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel